All right, guys, I'm sure as you already know, the Keem and H3 drama has gone off the charts, not only with Keem losing his sponsor, G Fuel, but now H3 losing his sponsor, where he made some of his most money, multi-billion dollar company, Old Spice, losing millions of dollars from that company now because his sponsor's been dropped for saying the you-know-what word multiple times on his podcast while smiling. I don't know what he was thinking going at Keem like this when he's got something major to lose, which he certainly just did. But we'll be getting into something even insaner, even more insane on today's video. Keem released from Etika's mother, which are just absolutely 100% very obvious in my opinion that are false, fabricated, and created by either himself or his team. And I went over that in my previous video, which I'm going to link in the top pin comment. Nonetheless, in today's video, I'm going to touch on some more topics, which just further confirm that these text messages are completely false. I have to give it to several of my commenters on my previous video for giving me insight and in realizing what we're really missing out on when we look at these text messages. As I said in my previous video, it doesn't make any sense for a mother who has just lost a son to text someone who her son had business relations with, whom suggested he do something, which he clearly ended up doing, causing his friends, family, and fans to lose him, miss him, and be extremely upset and saddened over his loss. Then to, 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 to contact Keem within a day or two? giving him multiple compliments in this text message, building him up, trying to make his fan base love him again. But not only that, she refers to her son as Etika and not Desmond. Desmond was her son's name, not ever, not once. Has she ever, I guarantee you, referred to her son as his online gamer screen name, nickname that he was known by. Trust me, that's the last thing that a mother wanting to remember her son whom she raised, known as Desmond, would refer to him as. But it gets even crazier, guys. Later in the text message, she refers to Keem in third party, saying, oh, the Keem star show who he really wanted to get on and be exciting and entertaining on. Why would she be speaking to her buddy, her friend, Keem, Daniel Keem, not calling him Daniel as well, but then referring to him in third person when she's texting him? It makes no sense. But guys, what's even crazier to me is, why in the world, and how dare you, Daniel Keem, claim that she sent this to you, fabricating it, falsifying it, allegedly, if that's true, only to rub it in a mother's face more that you are to pretend like she contacted you, cared about you, and cared about your career in your online persona. How dare you? In a time when a mother is extremely saddened, more than ever, how dare you, Daniel Keem. Hashtag come clean Keem. And thank you for watching.